What's good, y'all? It's the Demachettes React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're on, on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Hello. Yeah, I feel like every time I learn something new, and it's like a conversation point when you meet someone from that country. Oh, I know this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you learn how to pronounce words differently because mm. we do pronounce words differently, mm. and that allows you to communicate better with other people. Facts, facts, facts. So in the US, we call these flip flops. In the UK, we also say flip flops. In Australia, we call them thongs. Thongs. Mm. They are flip flops. Yeah, flip flops. But the thing is, right, we have so many languages in South Africa. So we use some of our native language to describe some of the words. So can I say my, can I say what we would actually say? We say pat pat pat. Those are pat pat. Sound like the sound. <laughs> it sounds like the actual sound when you're walking. Yeah. The okay. Pa, 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 like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So what That's we would call it? Slides. And flip flops. Flip flops. Sandals. Slippers. Slippers. Is it a difference? I guess it's because of like the the way it the foot actually goes in. Because you got one you can just slide your foot in. Right, you got right. one without the toes out, which is like we call but them I house shoes. I, but just, I just say slippers. Slippers. Now if it's like house slippers, I'll yeah, say yeah. house slippers. Add the but, house to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just call it all slippers. I call them slippers or flip flops. It's like interchangeable. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. But what I'm liking though, I love that the South Africans say <clears throat> that there are so many different languages. So mm -hmm. they're different. Different um, ethnic groups have different names for these things that they're going to be talking about. It's important. A lot of times in the in videos like this, you all are like, that person don't speak for me. Thanks, <laughs> <You know>? bro. <laughs> very loud. Like, very loud. Uh, yeah. So, nah, that's like that a good point. That. That's a good point. She just cleared the air for everybody. So no yes, one yes. should be trying to correct her <laughs> about this topic here. That yeah. was just a clean blow. It, it's her. Her life, her perception, <laughs> her experiences. But she gave everybody a pass because she said you're all different when it comes to saying right. what this is called. So. Right. So it sounds like the, the sound. sound. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. I like. I like that. It, Can we that get that sounds. one more time? Pata pata. Pata pata. I like that. Pata pata. <laughs> so it sounds like the sound. The sound. Yeah. Yeah. I was on the culture yeah. before I was I like, there. I like that it, that it sounds like this. Sounds like the yeah. sound. Yeah. Don't stop. Now, I would, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, the first thing that comes to mind is the panties. Of course. <laughs> However, I think way back in the day, a lot of people from the States called it thongs. And it may also depend on your state. Maybe some people still call it thongs, but mostly, like, I would think of the panties. I think in the yep. UK, they wouldn't just... And that's the same thing for the United States, too. Yeah. She pointed that out as well. Because although, yes, we're all Americans, we all live in different states. And even in different states, different regions of that state may call something a different thing. Yeah. Like where I was raised, I call a, a cold drink, which you guys call the soda. Dion would call it a soda, but I call it a cold drink. Some people would call it a pop. So, uh, soda pop or pop. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't get the song, I mean, the, the word. Thong. I wasn't hip to it until the genuine made it. That wasn't genuine. That was Cisco. Cisco with the silver <laughs> hair. Whoa. Yeah. So when Cisco made the song, yeah. that's when I started to realize it. And then the girls were actually, you know, they wanted to be seen. Baby, that song came out when we was in elementary. What girls wanted to be seen? BET After Dark. Oh. Yeah. He was watching that. Mm-hmm. Take your leg, though, but I've just had it a lot. You need to get tongs. Yeah. It's tongs, it's tongs. But I don't yeah. get confused, though. If I were to send you to the store, please get me some tongs. What are you going to get for me? Because it depends on where you're from and ask. Because, like, if I was going to say that, I expect you to get me flip flops. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, as American, I guess you're getting me the other thing. What if you needed to buy some thongs and thongs? <laughs> what do they call me? We don't call these thongs. We call that the G-string. Oh! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We call it so in the U.S., we would call these uh, bangs. In the U.K., we would call these fringe. Yeah, Australia too. We say fringe. We say a bit of both. We say both. We say either fringe or bangs. Like, if you want to be fancy, you say bangs. I feel fun. like it's the opposite for us. I, uh, I feel like most people call it bangs, but if you want to be fancy, or, or just be a little different, maybe some people will call it fringe. Maybe, like, little ones. Like, you know, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for me, it's not natural. Like, um... she had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> and then she gave like a 
like hair extensions. Right. Um, ponytails. Hmm? Ponytails? Ponytails? Yeah. Pigtails. Pigtails. pigtails? This is yeah. not braid for you. What I mean, braids? it is a braid, but there's pigtails. Yeah. Braid. This is a ponytail. Yeah. This really? is a ponytail. No? Because it's like a ponytail. Yeah, everything is to generalize. Ponytail. Wow. <laughs> everything. I call these plaits. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Plats. 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 Fancy way to say plats. braids for us. But yeah, we were would would understand plaits, plats, yeah. So in the pause, US. Pause. So I think with this one, I don't think too many people, depending on where you're from, but I don't think too many people go for the, you know, real detailed version of what it could be called. I think right, we know right. what it means whenever someone says, Oh, you gotta your ponytail is long. Right, right. right. No, you got some plats. Well, plats could be hit different too. Uh, plats, I feel like plats is whenever we was coming oh, up with the braided with the bull rats and she mm -hmm. would the baby girl would have the plats or something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Um and also like we don't really get technical unless it's a hairstyle. A hairstyle. Like scalp mm. braids would be cornrows. Yeah. Um box braids, you know, knotless braids, like we'll name the style. Um but yeah, we'll yeah, say yeah, yeah. plats, pigtails. If it's not braided, then it was just probably a rope twist. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's another style. Something like that, yeah. yeah. We would call this chapstick. In the UK, we would call this lip balm. In Australia, we call it lip balm. Yeah, this is lip ice. This is lip ice. Even if it's another brand, it's still lip ice. Oh, there's a brand. There's a brand called lip ice. Okay. There is a brand called lip ice. Yeah. Ah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Even if you're using soft lips or whatever, it's still lip ice. Lip. When I hear lip ice, I would think of those, you know, chapstick or lip balm that would feel icy, like the minty ones. I think a lot of people also just call everything Vaseline. Like amongst like my age, because we were really into Vaseline. So we just kind of called them all Vaseline. Would yeah. you use Vaseline on your lips as well? Yeah, it was like yeah. the, the most tub? popular. A little tub, or we had these tins that were like Vaseline. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So the US, we would call these pants. In the UK, we would call these trousers. In Australia, we call them pants. 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 That word brook is not something I would say because I'm not Afrikaans. Oh, so okay. we just say pants. Mm -hmm. Do you know those pants mean pants? Under their pants. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I remember that one. Confusing. Pants and trousers. Mm -hmm. Well, usually we just specify like particular like jeans, jeans. or leggings, soup trousers. I think, yeah, we just kind of generalize and say pants, 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 pants. Right. Exactly. Our keys are on the pants. Put on your pants. What's black? Hurry up. <laughs> We're in the US, we would say swimsuit. In the UK, we would say swimming costume or cosy for short. In Australia, we usually call those bathers or swimsuit. We say swimming costume. It's so long when you think about it. Swimming yeah, costume. Swimming costume. Yeah. Swimming costume. Yeah. I like cozies. I didn't know about cozies. Interesting. Use that word. I think maybe a lot of people wouldn't from the from the states. Uh -huh. We don't hear that word often. So Sound like you go to bed. Confusing. Cozies. They are like yeah. Cozies is pronunciation of it. Yeah. Sound like something that you want to get in that's going to warm you up. Yeah, or like a store or something. Mm. Cosies, let's go to Cosies. Yeah, sound like it. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Influenced by other countries. In the US, we would say sweater, oh. I guess. In the UK, this in particular would be a sweatshirt. But the knitted ones we would call jumpers. Mm. We would specify either sweatshirt or jumper, depending mm. on the material. I think Australia we would call this a jumper. In South Africa, we just call this a jersey. Jersey? jersey. Oh, jersey. That's, oh, that could huh. be confusing. Super confusing. Uh -oh. <laughs> because jersey is like the sports Football jersey. jersey. Yeah, right? And there's like, go put on your jersey, it means something warm. Whatever you can find, put it up. I never yeah, knew that. That is different. But of course, I know this with a sweater. Uh, mm. So in the US, we would call these popsicles. In the UK, we would call these ice lollies. That sound really like something they would say. Ice poles. <laughs> in South Africa, a lot of us would call this ice cream. Even though it's not ice cream, I know it's an ice lolly, but we would say ice cream. Oh, mm. cool. It's totally different in the States. Like ice cream would be like a bowl of ice cream, and then a popsicle would be the one on the you know, stick. Because yeah. it's even made with like different ingredients. Mm. Ice cream made with cream and ice lollies. I don't know, what do they call it? Fruit? I guess it depends. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I see pole is interesting. Yeah. I see pole, yeah. Yeah. I see pole. I see pole. It's on a pole. It's on a pole. <laughs>
Uh, and it's icy. Yeah. <laughs> we have another another word like we were saying, like ice pop, oh, which could be for this, but it's kind of more like the long stick oh, yeah. one. The frozen. That you, yeah, ice you pop. buy yes. like not uh, frozen. In the US, these are just markers. In the UK, maybe I'm old. I would say like this is either a whiteboard pen I or a permanent sometimes. marker pen. Mm -hmm. So I guess we would say marker, but usually mm -hmm. we would say like either a whiteboard pen or a permanent marker pen. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we like making everything really long. It's technical but though, like one is permanent, one isn't. One it is. In Australia, we call these texters. Texters? Texters? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Making okay. texts. Uh, Maybe. That's yeah. smart. Well, in South Africa, we call them cookies. Cookies. cookies, but I think it's derived from like Afrikaans word, so cookies. Cookies. Interesting, so interesting. Cute. I've never heard that before. It's like all the like marker pens is cookies. Actually, the the more thinner ones, we call them cookies. Mm. But we still call these ones cookie, even though some people would say whiteboard marker. The majority, it is a cookie. In all right, so I got a really interesting vid that I know I would do, but somebody gonna have to switch houses totally different cultures and oh. use the slang words to tell a person to go out to go buy these items oh, cookies nice. we probably coming back with some sodas <laughs> hear me out you get what i'm yeah. saying um yeah. icy stick <laughs> i'm like whoa what you want me to get i don't even know what we would get for that somebody got know. it somebody got it yeah that's a freebie a icy that's stick. a freebie i don't know like exactly like so it's different yeah. just hearing the differences of the words mm -hmm. and the lingos but we all have the same meaning it's just different mm -hmm. ways we say it mm -hmm. that'd be fine in the us we say sidewalk in the uk we would say pavement mm -hmm. in australia we call it footpath in South out. Africa, we would also say footpath or pavement. Also, we also have footpath, but it means something else. Usually, it's like public footpath, so like hiking, but kind of like hiking, mm. and you would walk through oh. the countryside and stuff. We would call it a footpath, like trails. Trails, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's not like a pavement; it's more countryside kind of thing. I always hear a sidewalk. Walk on the sidewalk. Don't walk on the road. But yeah, footpath never. Pavement is just like. The pavement, the actual like the actual yeah. pavement. Boom, and the last one, nature trail. Yeah, nature trail. That's a little different, isn't it? I mean, from them, yeah. But whenever she said mm -hmm. uh, footpath, it's mm -hmm. like when you walk so many times at dirt road, instant mm -hmm. thing because you know hiking and whatnot. But with the nature trail, it's the same image. Mm -hmm. you, you got that dirt, then you got the grass on the side. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Cookies. 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 Yeah. So cute. Yeah. Just because I've never heard that word before. Yeah. yeah. I think when I came here, I used that term. Because I'm a teacher. I used that term in class. Oh. Cookies. Alright, we're going to stop right there, man. That's the end of it. Make sure you guys go check their channel out. What was your interesting word that you heard from them today? Um, which one was it? Maybe cookies. And it was the one they used for pants. Uh, they say think trousers. It. Yeah, not the trousers. It was something else. It was something else. I don't know. I don't Mine's know. was the slippers. The patat patat. Oh, oh, the patat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. sound. It was just different. It was really different. Yeah. That was cool. That was a fun video. Love learning the differences and similarities that we all share. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.